I woke up this morning and I thought today would be a great day to see two iconic legendary theaters that are part of the fabric of Hollywood itself. There's a heat wave going on, I think my brain melted. Hi, it's Jess. We're gonna check out the Fox Theater and the Bruin Theater that have hosted so many different movie premieres. If you've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you've kind of got a glimpse of these two theaters because there's a scene where Margot Robbie, she plays Sharon Tate, she walks into the Bruin Theater. We are in Westwood, California. Los Angeles, why, why did I say that? Westwood Village is the surrounding area of UCLA. UCLA was built around the, like the 1920s and then Westwood Village sprung up as a result as you know, like a little hub, a little center of entertainment and shops and restaurants. It was like the place to be. I went to UCLA, go Bruins, woo! But while I was a student here, I didn't really go to the village all that much. Um, UCLA is right up that way. And for some reason, the way that the campus is situated, the village was just like a really far walk at the time. Like, I feel like that's embarrassing to say because they are right next door to each other. Westwood definitely has an interesting vibe these days. It's a little sad because it gives you a feel of like, oh, this used to be like this great like entertainment center. Now it's just like a little bit more quiet. It's very student focused, which is great. There's a lot of store turnover and a lot of like changes over the years to the village. But the two things that have not changed are these two theaters, the Fox Theater and the Bruin Theater. And that just makes them even cooler. Like I love seeing buildings and like the architecture that really hasn't changed all that much from when it was first created. These two theaters are like the focal point of Westwood, especially the Fox Theater because it has a 170 foot tower. At nighttime, both of these theaters are lit up and the entire tower is pretty much illuminated. And it's like a spotlight on Westwood. Maybe you're wondering, Jess, like why are we spending our time looking at these theaters that you can't even really go into right now. I just think old movie theaters or like picture palaces as they used to be called. Isn't that cool? Let's go to the picture palace tonight. They have such character, such interesting architecture. And especially living in LA, we have so many of them and I'm just like appreciative about them. So just gonna look at them, you know? There's just something special about seeing these old theaters that have been built in like the 1920s, the 1930s, in all of their glory, and especially if they've been like well maintained. Oh my god, that was so awkward. Oh, Westwood reminds me of my long lost youth. I think it's so cool that you have these two classic theaters literally across the street from each other. Okay, let's start with the very dramatic Fox Theater. This opened in 1931 and was built by Percy Park Lewis. Here it is in the heart of Westwood Village, and I'm actually standing at the Bruin Theater to get this shot. This is one of the most famous and popular venues for movie premieres. All the streets get shut down around it, and you actually get a pretty good view of the red carpet. Like, I remember it was a thing for UCLA students to go down to Westwood Village to try to catch a movie premiere. My favorite thing about this theater are the mythical monsters that protect it. No, like literally, we have some very regal looking winged lions and griffins at the corner of the building. I love that they're all out here casually perching, protecting the theater. Like, they're so cute too. And the architecture and design of the theater has a whole bunch of cool styles going on. There's mainly a lot of Mediterranean revival, you can see this in the elaborate stucco ornamentation, and art deco, which is seen from the very cool, streamlined, geometric shape of the tower itself, and the fox sign at the top. Oh, and all the touches of the color blue, that's an ode to UCLA school colors. And this theater is even prettier at night. I drove all the way to Westwood right now because I wanted to shoot amazing footage of the theater on at night and the lights are off. I mean, to be expected, we are living through a global pandemic. Things aren't functioning or running as they should be, but so 
tried. Just use your imagination. Like, I feel like we could kind of picture it lit up still, maybe, next time. Of course it would have been more epic if the lights and neon signs were on and glowing, but the theater still looked really cool. And sometimes I actually notice more shapes and form and design elements of a building when it's dark. I admit, I was still feeling a little disappointed, mostly about driving back and forth to Westwood for the second time in one day. So I went to seek solace in something really important to me. In and out. A double-double with chopped chilies and no onions, to be exact. Also, low-key shout out to my boyfriend and his artsy cinematography here. You know, but all in all, maybe it wasn't a total fail of an evening. Okay, and now on to the Bruin Theater, which I think is a little bit more sleek, a little bit more cool without trying. No offense. So this opened in 1937, a few years after the Fox Theater. And it was built by famous movie theater architect S. Charles Lee. Like, he designed over 400 theaters in California and Mexico. The theater is named after UCLA's mascot, the Bruin Bear. And the blue and gold color scheme is again on theme, on brand for UCLA. Duh. The theater is a perfect example of streamlined modern style. There's no extra decorative flourishes, just curved lines, and the feel of sleek machinery. And this is the theater that Margot Robbie walks into during Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Okay, I admit it looks way less cool in its current state than it did in the movie. I also think this looks really cool at nighttime. It is so hot out there. We're like legit in a heat wave right now and I had to stop by Diddy Reese to get some cookies. So Diddy Reese is this ice cream cookie sandwich place in Westwood. If you went to UCLA, you're just indoctrinated into loving Diddy Reese. They are everywhere. I think during like some of the tours or orientation, we were taken to Diddy Reese. Like it's good and I'm like pretty nostalgic for it. So let's try a cookie and see if it's just as good as I remember. How it looks undercooked, but it's good. It's not like the mind-blowing cookie, but it's like really chewy. It's just like your classic cookie place. Okay, it is fucking hot. Let's drive home. That was fun, right? So which theater do you like best? Do you like the kind of cool, sleek, understated Bruin theater? Or are you into the more dramatic, theatrical look of the Fox Westwood theater? Thanks for hanging out. Comment below which theater is supreme. Don't come at me with like another obscure theater that I didn't include in this video. I will do more videos on old historical theaters. But out of these two, okay? Be a good sport. I'll see you guys next time. I got more cookies to eat. Bye. Okay, that's so awkward bye.